Okay, so we've looked at sine rule and we looked at cosine rule and we looked at where areas of segments and areas of sectors and areas of triangles and all that was cool. Those are the basic skills. Uh, this video is looking at something that hopefully you'll be able to remember from level one, which was of right angle triangles and using trigonometry. Now, you can remember the stuff, or I hope you can remember the stuff from level one, which was soccer toe or whichever method they used to teach you. You had sine, cos, and tan, and sine was opposite in the hypotenuse, and cos was adjacent to the hypotenuse, and tan was opposite over adjacent. But imagine I couldn't remember, and how can I use the information that I now have with the sine rule and the cosine rule, because those are forms they give you. So here's my right angle triangle. I want to work out the side that's labelled X, so I want to work out the hypotenuse. I have that there's 15 degrees, uh, sorry, 25 degrees is my angle here. And I know that this side at the bottom is 15. So I've been given all the information I need to be able to do this. So let's start looking at my situation. Well, there's my right angle triangle. I know that's my right angle triangle right from the start, so that's all cool. And therefore, my opposite side that's opposite my 15 is this one. And of course, I'm going to use the fact that angles inside the triangle add up to 180, which is going to tell me that this angle and the 25 have to add up to 90. So therefore, this angle is going to be 60. Five degrees. Now I've got that, I can start to actually work out my sine rule. Because remember, sine rule, you needed pairs of information, and I now have my pair. I have the 15 and the 65. So I've got to remember that when I'm working out the missing side on the sine rule, that goes on the top, and that is divided by sine of the angle opposite it, so that's sine 90. And now I've got 15 over sine 65. So if I want to work out this, I'm going to move the sine 90 over the equals, and that means I get x equals 15 sine 90 divided by sine 65. And that is again something that I can type into my calculator that will help me and give me the answer. Uh, and it will be equivalent to me having used sine or cos in this particular case or tan to work out that answer. Now those of you who know much about this, you would have ended up realising that I've in effect turned it into a sign question by working on the opposite side, and I've then got the same answer that I would have got if I just used that right from the start, but my length of my hypotenuse is for 16.6 centimetres to 1 dp. So there you go, using the new rule to do something that we could do before and possibly you've forgotten.